We have ignition and we have liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket. The Atlas V RD-180 main engine and two solid rocket boosters ignite that generate more than a million and a half pounds of thrust to lift the rocket on its flight to the International Space Station. Shortly after liftoff, Atlas begins a pitch over to attain the proper flight path while minimizing the dynamic pressure the vehicle experiences during flight. To ensure crew safety and comfort, the Atlas V rolls to a heads-up position and uses booster engine throttling to limit vehicle acceleration to 3.5 Gs. The Atlas V reaches Mach 1 at the speed of sound at 1 minute 6 seconds. The two SRBs are jettisoned at 2 minutes 21 seconds. At 4 minutes 29 seconds, propellant levels deplete and the booster engine shuts down. Six seconds later, the Atlas Centaur separation system activates to release the booster stage. The vehicle now weighs less than 9% of what it did at liftoff. Jettison of the ascent cover occurs at 4 minutes 41 seconds. The ascent cover protects critical hardware on top of the spacecraft and provides an aerodynamic shape for ascent through the atmosphere. Four seconds later, burn of the dual-engine Centaur begins. This burn guides the Centaur to an elliptical suborbital trajectory toward the ISS at an inclination of approximately 51.6 degrees, matching that of the ISS. Approaching aeroskirt jettison, the Centaur is burning propellant at a rate of 100 pounds per second, traveling at more than 10,488 miles per hour and located 78 miles in altitude and 250 miles downrange. The ULA-designed aeroskirt extends the Starliner's surface, enhancing its aerodynamic characteristics and stability, and minimizing the loads of this unique crewed configuration. At approximately 5 minutes 5 seconds, the aeroskirt is jettisoned. Nearly 12 minutes into flight, cutoff of the Centaur main engines, or MECO-1, occurs. The mission now enters a suborbital coast phase, in preparation for separation. Centaur's suborbital trajectory design enhances crew safety by providing a shallow orbit more favorable for an abort if required, and ensures the Centaur will naturally deorbit, impacting the ocean off the southwest coast of Australia. At 14 minutes and 55 seconds, Centaur releases the CST-100 Starliner on its orbital flight test. Shortly after separation, Starliner's engines ignite, taking it the rest of the way to the ISS, a first step in the return of astronauts to space from U.S. soil.